Be seated, judges. Before uh, we go uh, any further, uh, the representative from the Thai Embassy will say a few words. You you know that uh, the Thai Asas uh, was uh, number one in the nation ranking, huh? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So, uh, okay, you have a few words, please. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Shaya Patrasha. I'm a counselor at the Thai Embassy. I'm glad to meet you all today uh, in this uh, competition. I appreciate all of you who joined in this competition, also the judges and the uh, contestants themselves. A massage is uh, an art de vivre, it's the art for life, it's the science for life, which is beneficial to human beings. And I myself is a fan of massage, so I really appreciate all of you. And I wish you uh, uh, that uh, in this competition, we can bring up the standard of massage, and especially Thai massage, that. I, some of you are uh, perfectionizing now, and uh, with this, I wish you all the rightful career and success. Thank you very much. Yeah. Is Petra here? Yeah. Ah, please stand up. Okay. You were so small. Uh, so sitting there. Come, no, no, no. Sergio. Please, uh, these are the guys from Unity, but the queen. Ah, okay. Uh, Jabba told me we have two minutes. I know you're all very excited, so we don't want to bother you for a long time. Just to, um, 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 to introduce you uh, to Unity Wellbeing uh, GmbH in Germany. Uh, we are two persons currently with uh, building up a team for a, for a company in the wellness industry. So this is my partner, Sergio Pyer. Maybe you introduce yourself. Hi, this is Sergio. My name is Sergio. I'm, I'm totally a foreigner to the wellness industry, completely. You know, I came into this world due to this wonderful woman uh, that has introduced me to great contacts. Uh, we've been working for about all of, all of a year and two months uh, in developing this brand of uh, products uh, in, uh, for the wellness industry. We're very appreciative to uh, Jeffy Tamir who it's been instrumental in our market market entry strategy in the in the, in the in this uh, space and it's been a fantastic experience for me the the vibe is absolutely amazing looking forward personally to participate in many more events like this thank you very much for your attention you find us uh, on uh www.unity.com Unity it's going to be live in the next uh, 3 weeks um, and uh, looking forward to see you uh, next year and in the next uh, few yeah, years to few come. Years. Thank, Thank you. you very much. The International Massage Association have tested uh, some of the equipments and uh, have uh, approved uh, massage oil, massage guns, because it's quality. And the International Massage Association is about quality also. You are here, you are quality, and as we also need to, uh, to find the best oils, massage guns, tools, etc., etc. So, and they are helping us spreading the best material. Anyway, now we have the final. And uh, the judges, you know, they have a, have a tough job. They have done their best. Um, and uh, in a moment, I will tell you who the finalists are. And, uh, but first, please, please, silence your phone, all right? Uh, however, uh, I will also ask of you to, to, uh, to share uh, the final all over the world, share in groups, share it on your profile. Uh, we go live now. And this is not about the International Massage Association. This is about making awareness of the massage profession and the different methods. So please help us doing so, all right? <laughs> and then a little bit about our uh, finalists. Uh, I can see here we have Katarina from uh, Germany doing Swedish massage, please. <laughs> Here 
here we have a mock from Israel doing Canada. Here we have Laurent Lacour. <laughs> <laughs> And Alexandra Chang from uh, France slash Cambodia. <laughs> and Pawn Chip from Israel doing Tiger <laughs> Fun. <laughs> then we have Slav from the United Kingdom. <laughs> Tables. I will not introduce them. You know them already. Amazing uh, uh, teachers and therapists themselves. Uh, they know how to judge. And by the way, regarding judging, it is like this: that the receiving judges uh, uh, can give up to six points. And the judges, the main judges, the judges you have seen all over the competition, they have three points to give, and that's it. Um, so. Uh, we will, uh, after the final, we will have a break on 15 minutes because that should be enough, they say, my, uh, my bookkeepers. Uh, 15 minutes enough, we have a short break, you come in again, and we have the award ceremony. All right? Uh, I will try to add some music, uh, and if you are hearing me mumbling, it's because we uh, go live, and I will try to, to uh, speak a little bit to the online viewers. All right? Uh, I try to play some music higher than I speak. Uh, so, all right. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Zeline, are you ready? Okay. Cloud? Ready. Got one, two? Yes. Ready? All right. <laughs> Please begin. All right, welcome to the final at the World Championship in Massage. This is the overall final. And in the final, we are ha having Céline Martin uh, from France. This is the woman we are looking at. She's a former French uh, Massage Championship champion from 2019. And due to COVID, etc., um, she uh, participated first in 2021 at the World Championship, but she did so online. 
but this year she is in Denmark and has qualified for the final. And here we have Kyung Baek from South Korea. I think this is the first time he is, he is at the World Championship in Massage and he has been chosen by the judges uh, in the freestyle uh, Eastern, I think it was. And it is like this that uh, freestyle has been divided into Eastern and Western uh, methods. And here we have uh, the European Massage Champion, Slav Marinov. And he just won the European Championship in Nice three weeks ago. And now again he has qualified himself to a final, this time at the World Championship in Massage, as uh, in the Sports Massage category. And he is a former silver medal winner at the World Championship in 2019, if I recall, uh, in the in the Swedish massage category. So this is uh, an experienced uh, therapist. And down here we have Pontip. And Pontip uh, is, uh, by the way, Pontip just won one of the video uh, categories in our. International Massage Association video contest, and the video contest is uh, is not so much about the massage itself, but can be um, a, a video for massage or for a school. Or there are many different categories, um, and she won for best editing. So it was not only her, but also the people behind the video who won this award. And here we have Alexandre uh, Tang. He's from Paris, France. And I uh, spoke uh, with him here earlier. I didn't know, but he's original from Cambodia. And he have uh, part he has uh, participated at the World Championship before. I can't remember. I think it was in 2018. And um, I did very well that year as well. But at that time we did not have a facial massage category. Uh, maybe this was the reason. This is the first time we are having the facial massage category. And I know that the judges have seen different kind of uh, facial massage during this um, during this world championship. Here we have Katarina from Germany. And I actually know that she's also a professional uh, dancer. It's an interesting combination, actually. And she is participating uh, in the Swedish massage category. And here we have uh, Laurent Lacour from Switzerland. Um, he participates in the Freestyle Western Massage category. His colleague Catherine, uh, is who is working the same clinic, uh, and I actually think she's the owner of the clinic. She just won uh, one of the awards in the video contest. And here I can see he's using some kind of bamboo tool. So two very, very good therapists in one clinic. Not bad.
And here we have uh, Al Mock uh, from Israel doing chair massage. Uh, chair massage is not a very big category. Uh, however, we have seen some of the very, very best therapists doing uh, chair massage. We can begin uh, with Christina Bly from Holland, who won the chair massage in 2017. It was a great combination between uh, using uh, bamboo sticks as well as massage. And in 2018, Moshe Moreno from Israel um, participated and uh, won silver in the overall final at the World Championship of Massage. An amazing uh, therapist and teacher. I wonder whether he has uh, been teaching Almog. Uh, maybe I will ask him later. In order to finish uh, the chair massage is that back in 2019 we had uh, Marie de Sosa winning the overall world championship doing a chair massage. So chair massage is pretty uh, important. And here we see Katharina from Germany giving massage to gastrocnemius muscles, uh, the soleus. And she's doing Swedish massage. And Swedish massage was invented by a Swede, of course, Per Henrik Lin. He was living uh, 200 years ago. Uh, even more actually, and he was uh, a, a soldier in the Danish army um, and he got injured. And as far as I know the story is that he went back to Sweden and he began to develop uh, some different techniques to, uh, to give himself massage and to develop uh, manual treatments really. And he was by the way inspired by Tai Chi uh, at that time very amazing um, but it was not um, it was not Pierre Neglin who named the massage scripts um, it was uh, Johan Metzger from Holland from the Netherlands and he um, he named it with French uh, uh, French uh, words uh, at that time French was uh, very uh, well spoken all over the world and uh, it was the named, you know, uh, effleurage, uh, pétrissage, uh, uh, friction, tapperment, etc. So it was Dutchman who named the grips, but it, it was Pierre Henrik Lin who developed the first Swedish massage. The funny part is that Swedish massage is not um, called Swedish massage in Sweden, but classical massage. It's a shame, actually, if you ask me. But in the English speaking world, they call it Swedish Massage. And here we have Kyung Beck at his first final. And I can see that he's doing a lot of uh, mobilization and a lot of stretching. So Massage has developed uh, to more than, than just the pressure, but also uh, to uh, mobilization and stretching. And I know that judges are talking a lot about uh, techniques, um, about pace of the massage, what is suitable. While we are seeing, uh, now we see Slau uh, from uh, UK the European champion and we see Celine Martin the French champion we also see some of our sponsors and uh, me as the president of the International Massage Association I can only say thank you for the support to our sponsors uh, and you can see here it is Massage Hof from the U United Kingdom it is Anna Baroni School from Italy it is My Spa Depra from France Casa del Sencio from Germany. It is massagenet.com from America. It is World Wellness Weekend um, from France, 
it's all over the world, but uh, it's a French guy, Jean Guy, who is uh, the leader of it. And then we have uh, Unity, and Unity is a company selling IMA approved uh, tools, oils, etc. And we should also say thank you to uh, Songbird, a UK uh, oil company. They have been a sponsor several times. We uh, also work uh, um, with Tops by Fest and Happies and uh, a Lithuania school, I can see, and Massage World Magazine and the Danish uh, Massage uh, Association. But I can also see here Lemmy. Lemmy is the main sponsor of the World Championship. And it is an, an Italian wellness equipment uh, company. We must also remember Global Copping from America, the Beauty School from UK, uh, Farisbat uh, from Norway, and Talisi from Lithuania, and Mr. Christoph uh, from France and St. Bath. And some of uh, one of our sponsors is Select. Select is a well-known football uh, brand, actually making some of the best footballs in the world. But they also make some of the best massage creams. And at the end, we also have Reflex Hospital. Uh, it's a it's a Romanian school. But let's get back to uh, the finalist. Uh, here we see Pontip from uh, Israel. Of course, I think she has uh, roots from um, Thailand of course and uh, it is actually like this that uh, all the therapists who participated uh, online on the Friday and physically here in Denmark um, they uh, they got some points uh, during these days and the organizer has um, calculated uh, all these points and find the average of each country um, and in order to take part of the nation ranking a nation must have at least three participants so only countries with at least three participants have been uh, part of this uh, competition and I can tell that uh, number three was Australia. Uh, they did very well, the onliners. And um, then came the second best nation was Iran. Unfortunately, the Iranian massage therapist could only participate uh, online due to many things. And the overall winner at this nation ranking was Thailand. Not so... I mean, Thai, Thai massage is, uh, is the only massage method on UNESCO's heritage list. Here we see uh, Alexander Tang. Uh, Alexander Tang is uh, a facial massage therapist. He mostly do facial massage. He told me that some of his uh, clients of course also wants uh, some back massage but 90% is facial and he has his uh, clinic in Paris Yeah, let's see some chair massage uh, with Almong. I can tell that uh, uh, one of the benefits of these championships is that school owners can find some of the best teachers and they can find inspiration for their students. 
Me, myself, I am also a massage teacher having a school in Denmark. And I have invited, of course, several of these uh, champions uh, to my school to teach. Among these, the world champion from 2019, Mari de Sosa. He is a chair massage therapist specialized in Japanese shiatsu. And I've also had uh, Christina Bly from the Netherlands, the world champion from, from 2017. I can see that Kiyong Beck <laughs> is doing uh, some speedy massage and the receiver is Radu, uh, Radu from um, Romania. He himself is an amazing therapist um, and is the vice president of the Romanian Massage Association. And here we have uh, Laurent Lacour. Doing freestyle western. And to you who is watching, please share this broadcast with your massage colleagues uh, so they can find inspiration from these amazing therapists And while we are watching, I can tell a little bit about the International Massage Association. Um, the International Massage Asso Association was, uh, we are called IMA, is uh, an idea from 2015. Um, it was born in Denmark. Uh, I, uh, I wanted to do a, a real good masterclass and I was wondering how can I, uh, how can I get the very best massage therapist to uh, to Denmark, and then I came up with the idea of making a world championship in massage. Um, so I asked some of the key players in our industry, uh, the founder of the Massage World magazine, uh, Carl Newberu. I wrote him whether he wanted to support the idea. Within half an hour, he uh, wrote me back and he said, "I'm in." At that time, we didn't knew each other. And then I thought, all right, okay, uh, maybe I go uh, writing Mr. Ryan Heimi from uh, massagenerd.com. So I wrote him, and half an hour later, he wrote me back, hey, I'm in. And uh, that was the beginning. They were helping me from the beginning, and then together with my uh, students from my master class, we developed the International Massage Association and the World Championship. Uh, in massage and uh, first we did a Danish championship in 2016 in order to uh, to try things out uh, and we learned a lot and then we hosted the world championship in massage 2017 and we had I think we had participants from 30 countries uh, I think we had approximately 80 participants in all which was huge uh, for the first time uh, we were amazed uh, that people were coming all over from all over the world for this event that no one really have tried before. 
Uh, and then we were growing. Uh, we uh, made the World Championship in Massage 2018. We I think we had uh, 37 uh, different countries represented, and uh, I think we had approximately 100, uh, 130 massage therapists participating. Um, and then uh, again, we were growing for 2019, uh, where we had from 42 different countries, and um, And in 2019, we um, uh, we had 200 participants from 42 different countries. It was huge. It was in the same arena. It has been in the same arena all, all the years. Uh, it is a university building in Copenhagen. Um, but then COVID came and we had to postpone. Um, so 2020 was postponed to 2021. And still we had the covid uh, problems um, so we had to do a hybrid version of the europe uh, the world championship in massage and the thing is that um, we had 120 participants 50 uh, percent of them had to go online from wherever they were in japan or in australia or america and all these uh, countries because they could not come but uh, we found out it was actually uh, we, we could actually do it and we did it and uh, it went very very good and uh, we so we decided that let us continue having this hybrid championship this year uh, less uh, than 25 percent maybe 20 percent was online um, of course we want people to come to denmark but i also think that people who do not have the money to travel so far that don't have the time um, they should also have an opportunity to participate and show their skills and represent their country um, so we have continued doing this and it went very good and uh, I can say that uh, in 2000 and 19 together with uh, some of our colleagues among those uh, ryanhoymimassagenet.com we developed the international teacher course uh, because uh, in many countries the teachers are only therapists themselves and have no skills in how to teach others so uh, we wanted to uh, to make some classes where they could learn to teach even better so uh, we had our first uh, class in 2019 physically but then again COVID came and uh, we had to renew ourselves and make the classes online so now uh, it is possible to have uh, an international massage teacher basic class and an international massage teacher advanced class and soon to come will be the international massage teacher business class so we are trying to uh, raise the level of teachers as well, so it's not only the therapist. And you can read much more about it on the International Massage Association's uh, website and social media, and you're always welcome to, to write us. Of course, we also have some workshops with uh, some of the interesting uh, teachers and uh, uh, winners, uh, um, but we we <laughs> don't do. We maybe we do five a year or something. But you can read about them uh, at the at the website. We are watching Slau, who is the English champion from last year and uh, just has been awarded a um, European Championship champion this year. Uh, so he is now uh, a silver medalist winner from 2019 at the World Championship Massage in Swedish Massage. 
uh, and he is English champion and he is European champion and now he is in the final his first overall final at the world championship in massage a very uh, humble man but very skilled anyway let's go uh, to uh, Celine Martin uh, who I first saw in 2019 I was uh, judging myself at the French Massage Championship um, in Paris uh, I, I did so in 2018 and 2019 as far as I recall and uh, Celine Martin was um, became one of the French Massage champion, uh, Champions uh, in 2019 with her beautiful massage she is doing wellness massage as we can see and she has uh, she has also been uh, teaching by uh, she's been taught by Konstantina Macri uh, the world champion from 2018 so uh, a serious lady uh, who was Celine was uh, hiring a world champion to come and teach it's amazing what a good idea and it's not impossible to hire these uh, world champions and international uh, massage association teachers it is possible it costs a little bit of money but I mean it's quality and you become a much better therapist and massage is not only the pressure massage is um, joint uh, mobilizations, it is uh, stretching, it is wellness, it is uh, experiences, new experiences. Sometimes um, we, uh, we, we see that our own clients are stopping and finding other therapists. Maybe it's because that they need a new experience. And therefore also the World Championship in Massage is a very good idea to attend to because you find inspiration. Inspiration you can bring with you home to your clinic and you can practice. So your massage will never be the same and it will never be boring. And by the way, while we are watching Al Mok here from Israel, um, you can see the chair can be used uh, in both ways really and now you can even give a nice um, leg massage on chair And please, I remind you, please share this uh, broadcast, this final of uh, the World Championship in Massage with your colleagues all around the world. Put it into uh, your Facebook groups, to whomever needs to find new inspiration and discuss. This is of course uh, to discussion. Um, we are doing this in order to of course share skills and inspire but also to discuss what is good massage really We are watching Pontip, and uh, Pontip is, of course, uh, originally from Thailand, um, but she has been educated uh, uh, by Moshe Moreno, um, also at least. Um, he's also here. Moshe Moreno is the world champion in chair, chair massage um, in 2018, and he has a great school in Israel. I see the uh, receiver of the massage is Vasana, uh, also uh, originally a Thai but living in Switzerland. One of the IMA judges. 
it is only judges really that are receiving and the point uh, system here is that the receiving uh, judge have up to six points to give here in the final um, and the main judges here who have been judging the whole championship um, have up to uh, three points to give each And we here we have Alexandra Tang, um, and we have seen different kind of massages, facial massages. We have seen Japanese kobido and Japanese facelifting, Swedish massage, reflexology in the face, and so on. So we have seen different things uh, with different kinds of approach. And of course, we are here to watch, and we are here to learn and inspire each other. But the breaks between the rounds and uh, the minor breaks uh, all over the day is very important for the networking. It gives the therapist uh, the opportunity to speak not only together, but also um, to uh, the teachers. And the school owners have the possibilities to find the teachers. Uh, we also have uh, equipment suppliers with amazing tools and again school owners, therapists, teachers can have a chat uh, with these uh, equipment suppliers. Massage is not only the use of hands, it's uh, a lot of use of tools. What is also interesting is that um, since we are also having online participants, we had them on Friday, that um, when we were um, doing the ranking, um, we found out that the Australians, we had three Australians um, doing uh, the online uh, part, and the average of the three, which is a team, went uh, to become the third best country the third best average of the countries um, so it is possible to see good massage online and the same happened with the Iranians we had four Iranians doing a, uh, some great massage online and when we had the average of the four they became second best nation it's amazing so th the online part really really works unfortunately we do not have uh, uh, any online uh, participants um, the the eight best uh, is physically present here um, but they did very well and then uh, number one uh, country w became Thailand they had the best average This year we have a group of Japanese uh, and they were also very good. And it's nice that to see that Japan, who is so far from Copenhagen and Denmark, uh, is, uh, is participating also. And I'm actually one of the only guys who 
went from room to room to see all the the rooms here at the World Championship, all the categories, and I, I'm, you know, I just uh, get overwhelmed every time I go into a room. Uh, the concentration, uh, the approach, the great massage, the innovation, it's amazing. And what are the judging judges looking f uh, at? Uh, well, they have a criteria sheet, uh, a point system, and what they're looking at is the techniques, the variations of techniques, the combination of techniques. It's not a matter of how many techniques, but it is important that the, the techniques are relevant and a good combination. So they look at the techniques. And then um, they look at the ergonomic of the therapist but also the receiver so ergonomics is of course important because if we want to be therapists for many many years we need to use our body in the best way Hello. and we also look at the flow the pace of the massage and it's not only the speed but it's also the t uh, the transaction from one uh, massage script to another um, and it's also of course working working within a time frame uh, here at this uh, world championship uh, they have one hour to perform uh, and we expect a full body massage if it is not for example facial massage uh, as Alexander Tang here It is not necessary to do a full body massage, not at all, um, but uh, it's more than just a part of the body. We also talk about uh, the client contact, um, their awareness of how deep a pressure can be, the reactions from the receiver, the, the communication between giver and receiver, um, very important. And then of course we look at innovation. Innovation is of course uh, important in uh, most of the categories especially of course freestyle and so on and it's very much uh, about um, um, developing new methods when we have these freestyles categories it is uh, an opportunity for therapists to show what they have combined or invented and uh, here we have Celine do using Moxa uh, during her massage. Moxa is this, uh, comes from the Chinese medicine and is used by uh, acupuncture therapist. And please you guys who are watching, please share this, uh, this amazing mas uh, final here at the World Championship and please send them a like please give them thumbs up if you like uh, what you, they are showing it is very difficult to perform 
at a World uh, Championship final, I can tell you. We have a lot of people here, maybe 200 people, yeah, more than 200 people uh, sitting in the room uh, and watching. And then we have you guys all over the world. And uh, we look at Kyung Baek here. We have several people from South Korea. One of them also made a very, very nice uh, video uh, for the International Massage Association's video competition. Uh, here we see Laurent from uh, Switzerland and Almok from Israel doing a great job. I can see it, it looks like that Laurent is making a stretch for the quadriceps muscles even while giving maybe a massage across the fibers in the in the hip. And Katharina from from Germany. doing Swedish massage. And sometimes I wonder what Pierre Henrik Ling uh, would have thought about uh, Swedish massage today, really. Um, the Swedish massage have, of course, developed, and is of course it should be, uh, should do. So, uh, but now we uh, Swedish massage is much more than just the five grips, um, as they are named. Now uh, the Swedish massage is also stretching and also a little bit joint mobilization. It can be uh, superficial or deep. And here we look at Pontip. And Pontip is a little lady and she has to use her own body weight. And it, it demands a good balance uh, doing uh, this kind of Thai massage. And you can see the hip joint, uh, the right hip joint is rotated and she is also s stretching the quadriceps muscles and even give a pressure on the calf muscles uh, in this, uh, in this uh, massage grip. And this is interesting with the Thai massage, they very often do three things in, in one. Here, uh, Laurent is, uh, is making uh, also a, uh, a spinal twist, really. Uh, oh, he just did. Let's see what he's doing now. Uh, I know that Laurent is giving massage to Jita Per Wilkinson. Jira Wilkinson is an International Massage Association's approved teacher and um, she herself won wellness gold at the World Championship in Massage in 2018. She also became English champion in Eastern Massage and she won the European Championship as well, uh, even another championsh uh, championship in, in uh, Italy. Anyway, um, so she herself is an, an amazing therapist and now she's a judge here at the at the World Championship Massage. Uh, 
and the receiver. And the receiver in Jammer size is Kinga Yene from Hungary. She herself has won 10 medals in these international championships. Um, she's maybe the most uh, winning medalist uh, ever. Um, now uh, the International Massage Association have chosen to, to use her as a, a judge because she is very skilled. As, uh, and so she's qualified for this. This year she has been judging uh, championship in Germany, the Baltic Massage Championship in uh, Lithuania. She has been judging at the Bosnia Championship and the Serbian Championship. Uh, she participated at the European herself because she likes also to participate. And now she is judging uh, the World Championship Massage. And the receiver uh, of uh, Celine Martin's uh, massage is Jean Guy de Cabrillat, the founder of the World Wellness Weekend. The World Wellness Weekend is a weekend in September, making awareness of uh, wellness in general, not only massage but many many wellness uh, things. And he has been judging here at the World Championship uh, a few times. Um, in a, a, an amazing man also doing a great job for the massage profession. And together we are of course trying to bridge uh, the massage world with the wellness world, spa world, the beauty world, etc. Et and uh, cooperate. So in this um, in this final we have three former uh, champions really. Uh, we have uh, Slau here who has won a silver medal uh, in 19. Um, we have uh, Pontip who had won a silver medal at the international uh, online massage championship. Um, and we have uh, Celine Martin, uh, the former French massage champion. Um, so, uh, and I think it's uh, interesting when when uh, therapists are winning several uh, different kind of uh, championships, really, or or continuously uh, winning and showing their skills. This is one of the points: is that the therapist, the participants, will ha have an opportunity to see and work with the very very best massage therapist. Of course some of the judges uh, themselves are former winners but it can also be uh, international teachers or very experienced uh, school owners themselves. And I, when I look at the judges here um, I can see uh, judges from Hungary, from Thailand, from Denmark, from Poland, from Switzerland, from yeah England again here, I see from France, I see from Romania, I see from Italy, Holland, Israel, Argentina, Romania, Serbia, Belgium, Lithuania, Moldova, 
Sweden. Yeah, amazing. Uh, that, and you should remember this, and you should know this: that all these amazing judges are here by their own expense, and they are voluntarily here because they want to help the massage profession. This event is sponsored by uh, some different companies, um, and but also, of course, the participants themselves have to pay a fee. But it is, of course, expensive traveling from Japan, America, etc., to Denmark, Copenhagen. Uh, but we also encourage the therapist to, of course, uh, learn from this event, but also to have fun and explore especially Copenhagen this uh, time of year. It is totally amazing. Please send them a uh, thumbs up, a like, uh, these amazing therapists sharing their skills to us all. I can tell that it has been three very intense days. Uh, Friday we had uh, the five online rounds. Uh, we have 10 to 15 judges each round watching on a huge screen uh, the participants doing online. It worked uh, very well. Um, we had a uh, good possibility to watch the, uh, the participant skills. And then of course uh, at such an event, we also have uh, a workshop. Uh, this year it was uh, Joe Lavin and Tracy Windmill uh, who did a, a very good workshop uh, on the Friday. And then on the, um, on the Saturday, we had the physical rounds. And here, uh, together with me, I think we are, what is it, uh, 180 uh, physical present participants, plus a lot of judges and guests. Um, and we had the three rounds. Uh, after the three rounds, we uh, we of course had lunch, and then we had uh, judge demonstrations. And this year, the all the participants had the opportunity to s watch the judges these uh, these judge demonstrations, and then they had could choose two, not two, uh, yo yes, two hours workshop with whomever they think they wanted to uh, learn from. That was amazing, and and all the participants went all to into all these rooms, and uh, and and learned from the masters. A an amazing uh, thing, and 
and uh, hereafter uh, people uh, hopefully they went out to Copenhagen have dinner and had fun and the judges had a, an evaluation uh, meeting and also had fun uh, <laughs> as far as I remember <laughs> uh, and then this uh, today we had the last three rounds uh, and we had uh, the award ceremony regarding all the video uh, videos and we also uh, had uh, Hall of Fame Hall of Fame became Suchima Hilk from Switzerland uh, the um, ambassadors of the year became Anna Baroni from Italy, Constantina Macri from Greece, um, Julian Mozart from Romania. The teacher of uh, the year was Anne from uh, Vietnam. And uh, the So Me, the social media of the year, became Itin Lecter. Um, I hope I, I uh, remember them all. Um, it was amazing, very nice. Uh, to give these awards. Uh, I will uh, end up uh, now speaking because uh, we are ending up in two minutes. Enjoy the last couple of minutes. Please sit down. Please sit down. And uh, the guys just sit down. Okay. And Serena, stop. Please, please stop. Okay? All right. I need uh, some information now.